In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new mask feature in Kittle. And yes, you can actually mask objects inside different shapes. You can even change the blending modes and you can even mask elements and illustrations. So let's take a look right now. All right, to find the masking elements, all you need to do is open up elements and go to masks. We'll click in this simple circle because the masks are shapes. So they're under the shapes category. Then we will find an image that we want to use. I think this one's nice. Just drag it over and there it goes. Double click in and you can move it up and down. Then you can even resize the whole thing as a whole or you can double click in and adjust it again. But if we double click in, we can also change the blending mode. So for example, we can change this to multiply and then we can change the actual mask shape because it is a shape and get some really, really cool effects on the images that you are trying to mask. Now we can also mask elements and illustrations so let's find one that we want to use here maybe this nice kind of blob looking one and then in illustrations we can actually just type maybe we want to do our new anime illustrations let's pick this one right here drag it over boom there it is double click in we can size it around move it up or down uh, to make sure that it's fitting in there correctly maybe just a little bit smaller then we can select the mask go to the gray and change the background color to give you a really really cool effect because again the mask is a shape we can also hold shift and skew it if you want to to distort it this way. Now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.